This year, a special documentary made us rethink how we interact with the animal world. My octopus teacher put a spotlight on these eight-legged wonders of the sea. News 8's Tim Blodgett went to a local aquarium to learn more about the octopus. It's a hard thing to explain, but sometimes you just get a feeling and you know there's something to this creature that's very unusual. Just off the southwestern shores of South Africa, filmmaker Craig Foster dove into the icy waters of the Pacific nearly every day to document his relationship with a wild octopus. The film that follows, My Octopus Teacher, showed an intimate connection between man and animal. The film won widespread critical acclaim and was awarded Best Documentary at this year's Oscars. Here we are. Because this film put a spotlight on these amazing creatures, I wanted to learn more about the octopus. So I reached out a tentacle to the Living Coast Discovery Center, where I was able to talk to animal care specialist Ayanna Reisman on what she's seen in the two two-spotted octopuses that they keep. He's not quite as interested or as um, motivated to work with a food toy as our female is. She's very keen on figuring things out. He's, he's more so of a recluse. <laughs> the octopus is known as one of the most intelligent creatures in the sea. In order to keep them active and stimulated, they give them puzzles like this twisting toy for the food inside. When it comes to interacting with their environment and really being able to figure things out or even manipulate their environment, they take the cake when it comes to being able to figure those types of things out. They are notorious escape artists in many zoos and aquariums across the world. Octopuses can be found in many different areas around San Diego. They especially like the rocky tide pools on the coast. These amazing cephalopods are just another reason why it's important to protect our ocean waters. I think it's amazing just how they have so many different ways to interact with their environments. It's very similar to, to how we interact with our environment too. Tim Blodgett, News 8.